everyone, I'm Sophia, your fitness ambassador for the Take 12 Challenge. Hopefully you've all been getting on well for your first week. Um, so here with me, we're going to be focusing on building up with a little bit more exercise and activity to help you become fitter and to help you reach your weight loss and fitness goals. Now last week, video one, um, we, did, we went through some moves for a warm up, a little bit of a pulse raiser um, and a quick stretch through. I would advise if you can to try and do that before you do any form of exercise so please feel free to refer back to that video from last week if you need to just to make sure that all of your muscles are warm um, and especially if it's been a long time since you've done any exercise which is absolutely fine it's really important just to try and stretch and loosen everything off before um, participating in exercise that's a little bit more intense we're still going to be keeping it um, to where you can work at your own level and ability. So today I'm bringing in a chair. We're gonna do two rounds um, of five different movements. For the first round of movements, I'm gonna be completely seated. Um, and for round two, it's up to you. You can either continue to work seated or I'm gonna show you some ways that you can do the same movements but standing up on your feet as well. So first thing says, if you want to make sure you've got some water, um, and as I said last week as well, please feel free to pop on a little bit of music if you find that that helps you for motivation. Okay, so I've got my chair here as well. Okay, so assuming that your body is relatively warm already, so having done a quick pulse raiser, things like marching on the spot, hamstring curls, reaches, again, please refer back to video one if you need, or even if you have... Um, have the opportunity to be able to go for a five minute walk around the block, anything like that, just to make sure your body's nice and warm. So first things first, I'm gonna take a seat. Okay, now when you're doing seated exercises, be very careful not to be leaning back into your chair. It's very tempting to want to relax. Try and lengthen and lift through your rib cage. I'd always suggest shuffling your bottom forward so that your feet are firmly planted on the ground here. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do is opposite knee to elbow. Now we're going to be doing 30 seconds of each of these movements. Once we've gone through all five, we'll then stop and have a quick break. Of course, you can pause and have a breather at any time if you need to here. So first things first, bottom on the edge of the chair, and I'm going to suggest to place your hands towards your eye line. Okay, you can keep it lower if you need to, but we're going to bring our knee to elbow. Now with this one, small rotation through the waist and gently drawing the knee up as high as you feel that you comfortably can. So this is move number one. Okay, move number two, we're gonna be doing a leg extension. We're going to extend and pull back, extend and pull back. Here you should be feeling your quadriceps contracting underneath your fingertips. If you want to work a little bit harder, you can add in a punch, opposite arm to leg, opposite arm to leg. When we start to use our upper body, heart rate's gonna go a little bit higher. Okay, move number three will be a side crunch. We're gonna have fingertips on our eye line again. We're gently gonna lean down and pull back, lean down and pull back, focusing on the oblique muscles. Move number four is gonna be a seated squat, which some of you may have seen before. If not, I'll be going through the technique of this with you to make sure that we're nice and safe, working a little bit more through our legs again here. Final move is going to be a rope climb. We're going to have one hand above our head and one into our waist. And we're going to switch, imagining that we're pulling ourselves up through a rope. Okay, so move number one, opposite arm to knee, hands on the eye line. Ready for 30 seconds of each of these here. Opposite hand to knee, three, two, one. And here we go for 30 seconds. Just bringing the knee as close towards your chest as you feel comfortable with. Now, if you've got any problems with your back, make sure that you just stick with a small rotation, okay? If you feel that you want to remove the twist altogether, please feel free to do so, and you can just focus on bringing the knee up as high as you feel comfortable with. So we're gonna continue here for another four, three, two, and one, excellent. Second move here now, we're gonna go through the leg extensions. When you're ready, three, two, one, we're going to extend and return, extend and return. So as I mentioned a moment ago, if you'd like to, you can reach opposite hand, okay, with a small jab to the front. Your main focus here is making sure that you're squeezing your quadriceps, these muscles at the front, uh, to engage the major muscle groups in your legs. 
can OK, extend and return. Again, be aware of your posture. Be careful not to slouch. Keep lengthening up nice and tall. You can work at your own pace here. Excellent. Really nice and firm, really nice and strong. And we'll continue for three more seconds. Two and one. Brilliant. OK, so those are the first two moves. Move number three, the side crunch. Fingertips just by your eye line. Again, spine lengthened. You're going to relax down through to one hand and pull back. Lead with the other hand and pull back. Now, as we're working here, it's really important to make sure that we're keeping both bottom cheeks on the chair. And what we're doing is relaxing down through the waist. And then the opposite side, we should feel this pulling back. Relax and pull back. Relax and pull back. Good. Continue here. We've got a few more seconds left. Final five, four, three, two, one. And well done. OK, third move down. Move number four. Okay, we're going to be going through the squat. I'm going to gently turn my chair around. OK, feet wide, shoulders up nice and tall. If you can, hands extended. You're going to squeeze through your heels and you're going to bring your bottom into the top. OK, if you need to use an arm for support here, you can. So if we set the timer off in three seconds, two, one. Coming up nice and gently now. Squats are a really, really fundamental move. Um, also working our quads, but more importantly now we're engaging our bottom and also the hamstrings in the back of our legs. Squatting is really good for bearing in mind when you're doing things like gardening. If we can squat down and use our legs, being very careful not to let our knees come over our toes, make sure we're hinging at the pelvis, dropping your hips back, and trying to keep your chest and shoulders nice and high. Okay, we've got three seconds left here. Two and one. Okay, so again, you might feel that heart rate's coming up. If you need to pause and have a quick breather or drink of water, please feel free to do so. But I'm going to go for one more move and then I myself will stop for a little break if you'd like to join me. Final move is the rope climb. Okay, so again, feet nice and steady. One arm up. 30 seconds and here we go. We're going to pretend that we're climbing a rope. Now I know I've mentioned a couple of times here now, anything that takes the hands up overhead, it is going to get your heart rate up a little bit more. So if you feel that you're starting to get out of breath or even hot and sweaty, that's absolutely fine. That means that our body is starting to make changes and that's how we become stronger and fitter. If you find that this is too much for your shoulders at all, please feel free to do a forwards jab, okay, rather than taking it up above your head. So if you're working with me, we've got eight seconds left. Try and get the arms up above your head and bring in the elbows down to your waist. Final four, three, two, oh, and relax. Well done. Okay, so here now for 30 seconds, if you want to take a breather or even for a minute, um, have a drink of water. Be careful not to let your heart rate come down too low. So that's the first circuit round here. Okay. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can either continue to do this workout with your chair, if you want to, to have something to work towards. I'm going to give you a couple of different ways that you can do those moves standing as well. So you can either repeat this seated again, and in a few weeks, if you need something to help you progress, then you can move on with the following moves here too. So I'm going to pop my chair to the side for the moment. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning, opposite hand or elbow, sorry, to knee. So in the same way that we've just done, small rotation through the waist, we're going to go for 30 seconds, gently drawing knee and elbow together in the centre. Three, two, one, here we go. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Small rotation again through the waist. If you're suffering with any back problems and you prefer just to stick with a straight knee lift, absolutely fine. You can still incorporate the arms by coming straight up and down rather than the waist rotation. Continue to work at your own level and ability all the way through. If you're seated, try and keep both bottom cheeks on the chair. Final three seconds, two and one. Good, brilliant. 
Leg extensions here now. So we did this seated extend and return. We can now do the standing, adding in a small punch. Three, two, one. Here we go. Extend and return, extend and return. Don't worry about how high you lift your leg here. As we mentioned a moment ago, whether you're seated or standing, it's remembering that the quads are our main focus here. The big muscle groups at the front. Try and clench those as much as you can here. Good, well done, well done. Nice and firm through the punch if you're adding this in as well. Brilliant. Eight seconds left. Final. Four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Now, if you feel that your heart rate's getting up, and again, breathing rate increasing, good, okay. I know it can be a little bit uncomfortable to begin with, but if you can start to get your body used to that feeling, um, it means that we're gonna start to get our lungs and our heart stronger, and we're gonna have a greater aerobic capacity, and that can then lead us on to do bigger and greater things as well. Now, before we get too cold, move number three. So our th third move that we had here was the side crunch. Fingertips by our eye line. So we're gonna relax down to one side and center. Okay, three, two, one. Here we go. Return every time between every repetition. Now, if you're seated again, both bottom cheeks down, please. If you are standing, you've gotta make sure that you're keeping your heat, your hips, sorry, and your knees nice and steady. It can be very tempting to want to let these drop, so make sure they stay nice and strong, just focusing on isolating your upper body. Okay, nearly there now, nearly there. And final. Four, three, two, one. And coming back into the middle again, brilliant. Okay, squats here now. Now if you want to, you can use a chair again for this one if you'd like. If you want to go freestanding, please feel free. I'm just gonna bring my chair in again for today. So, as mentioned before, whether you're seated or standing, we want our feet to shoulder width apart, hips and bottom go back, and chest stays up nice and high. You can go through this as steadily as you need to. One thing to be aware of, not letting the knees come over our toes, so make sure weight is back into your heels. Good, keep going here now everybody. Really push the floor away from you and try and relax down. It's very tempting to want to drop down in this one here. We want to resist that. We want to use our muscles to lower us down nice and steady here. Let's go for four more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good job. So final move here now. Rope climb, wherever you're working, you want one arm up, one arm down, and we're gonna switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so making sure that we're bringing the elbow down to the waist, hands up nice and high overhead. Now, if we're standing, it can be very easy to want to do this with your hips, so try and squeeze your bottom and just isolate through your shoulders. Again, any shoulder problems, feel free to keep this nice and low. Extend and back through a jab. Okay, and I can see with me, I might be starting to get slightly breathless myself as well. Hands overhead means that heart rate is going up. Heart's got to work a little bit harder. Final five seconds, go on as fast as you can. Three, two, one. Oh, fab, well done. Okay. Catch your breath for a moment, pause the video if you need to, have a quick sip of water, really important to stay hydrated here. I'm just gonna give you a couple of quick stretches that you can do to loosen off those major muscle groups that we've worked. So I myself are gonna have a quick drink of water. Okay. All right, so stretching here now. It's up to you, you can do this seated if you want to for the nature of today. I'll bring my seat back in. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to stretch is through our obliques. So where we've done our side crunching here, we're going to start with both arms up to the ceiling, just slowing your breathing down. We're going to place one hand to hip and gently ease across to the side. Now, as I mentioned before, anything seated, try and keep your back away from the edge of your chair. You want to be supporting yourself through your core. Now with our stretches, 
Ideally, you want to be aiming for about 10 to 15 seconds at least. If you would like a long-term benefit, 20 to 30 seconds. So we're gonna come up and over to the other side. Gently extend through. Again, slowing down your breathing, thinking about your posture, very careful not to hunch here. Lift and lengthen all the time. And you should be feeling the stretch along the side here, arm nice and strong at the top. Fantastic. As we pull back, okay, we're gonna stretch a little bit through the shoulders. So what we can do here, if we extend one arm, we're gonna keep this arm straight, really important to keep this arm straight, bring it across your body. One hand is gently going to come underneath and pull back towards you. So it's a little bit like a lever. One strong arm across your body, other hand scoops underneath and levers back. So here you should now be feeling the stretch through your shoulder. Good, just hold it here. Okay, let's take it over to the other side. So extend the arm first, arm strong, bring it across your body. Other hand scoops underneath and uses it as a lever. So even if you only go to here, absolutely fine. I'd rather you be here than trying to come too far and letting the elbow flex. Fantastic. Okay, a couple more here now. So we're gonna stretch through the hamstrings as we work the legs a little bit in those squats. If I show you this one from the side here, shuffle your bottom towards the edge and extend one leg. Okay, hopefully you'll see me in the camera there. If I shuffle back. So one leg extended, hands on our bent knee. So again, we want a steady base. Deep breath in, and as we breathe out, lengthening forwards to feel the stretch at the back of your leg here, your hamstring. Try and keep your toes nice and relaxed. You want to be careful not to flex the heel too much during this stretch. If you do, you might feel it playing a little bit more on your sciatic nerve at the back here. So we want to just make sure we're keeping the foot relaxed, focusing mostly on our hamstring. Back flat, okay, so chest is up, shoulders are drawn back. And we will be on the other side. So extending the other leg, hands on the bent knee, deep breath in. As you breathe out, lengthen and extend. Again, keeping the back nice and flat where you can again. As soon as we hunch, we're gonna disengage the stretch. So when you're doing these stretches, it's not about how low you can go, it's about feeling it in the right place. So we should be feeling it in the back of the opposite leg here now. Fantastic, so our final one to finish with. Okay, stretching a little bit more through your bottom, just hooking underneath one knee, and we're gonna draw the knee straight up to the chest. So you might feel this a little bit in your hips, okay. Now you know your own body, especially if you've had replacements or anything like that, just take it to your own level and hold where you feel comfortable. Again, I'm gonna nag you about your posture, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. And for our final one, we'll come over to the other leg, hook underneath the knee, draw the knee to the chest, slowing down your breathing here now. Only take this as far as you feel comfortable with. Okay, if that's enough for you, hold it here. The higher you go, the deeper the stretch will be. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so to finish this, if you can, arms reach forwards. Try and stand without using the hands where you can. Gap between your knees, coming up tall together at the top. Okay, and well done everybody, fantastic. So again, if you'd like, make sure you continue to drink your water, stay hydrated. And as I said last week, any questions specifically relating to this video, please feel free to drop me a message in the comments below. Have a good week and keep up the good work everybody. Take care, bye.